Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we managed to get rescued by Gilda and uh, get a nice little ride aboard his ship, the Claudia. So, let's go back. Ah, oh, let's listen to this a bit. Ah, oh, the music. Ah, oh, the music. Ah, <sighs> that soothes my soul. Anyway, let's go. Let's leave. Let's go to Nasrad. So, we are heading back. I don't know if there's actually any discoveries we can get here. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, there. I think, well, there is discoveries here, but whether we can actually get them yet or not, I'm not 100% sure. But we can fight. And fight we will. Yet this time, we're not alone. We have Gilda. Looking like a badass. Now, Gilda's weapon of choice. He has his uh, double barrel pistol. And it's pretty badass. Yeah, he's ranged combat. Kind of like Ica. Ooh, that stings. <clears throat> so, uh, it's nice to have a bit of ranged combat to the party. And he's just cool as well. I say ranged combat. Quite often he'll run up to the enemies and shoot them point blank in the face. But there we go. And all the enemies are running away. Kind of interesting, actually. I don't know if I've ever played an RPG where so many of the enemies actually run away from you. It's kind of strange. The combat system in this game is strange, <laughs> to say the least. It's, yeah, uh, I th think it's one of the weakest parts of the game. Not to say the combat is actually bad. It's just... A lot of the age-related issues of this game come from the combat. Yeah, it's not like Final Fantasy VII and, you know, older... Well, pretty much all the older Final Fantasy games, they still hold up quite well. You know, combat is quick and snappy and... You know, it doesn't... Oh, hello. It doesn't feel so laborious. Where in this game... Ah, the map of the ages. I guess we can get some... Uh... Discoveries here. What once used to be a grand map of the skies carved into a beautiful stone tablet now is weather-worn, crumbling slab of rock. It is said that the map is but a portion of the original, uh, but nobody knows what keeps it afloat. Hmm, very interesting. Right, what I might do then is see if I can find any more discoveries. One second, guys. So, we've got another discovery right here. I'm quite excited that we can get these now. You have found the skull rock. I never believed the old story about the skull pointing the way uh, to hidden treasure. But one night, we were passing by it and the moonlit from the full moon reflected off the skull rock and lit up a island in the distance. Hmm. An anon sailor. Interesting. Okay, so according to my notes, that's they're the only two that we can actually get here. Although, funny enough, I say the other two, or the only two, um, that one that we got, the map, uh, that's not even in my notes, so I'm not sure about that. Anyway, let's go grab some fish. Look at this bad boy. We are the Nassar Air Guard. Our primary responsibility is to defend Nasrad from invaders. In order for the Valley and Armada to invade us, they will have to go through the strait. Hmm, well, good luck holding this place. Uh, anyway, where are we going? We're going to Nassar. Oh, Nasrad, which is there. Let's go. I mean, there might be some more stuff that we can get here, but we'll have to come back and get it later. That's all it says in my notes. Captain, there's a suspicious looking chip heading straight for us. It's coming in fast and it's pink. Uh oh, we know that ship. What, I want, oh no. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Clara, there you are, my love. You can't play hard to get forever. My heart belongs to you. Yeah, it's Clara, all right. Hmm, in some ways, she's even more frightening than the Amada. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay, here's the plan. Base, you and I are going to take a lifeboat to Nasra, and my crew will sail my ship in the opposite direction. What do you say? Sound like a plan? Uh, okay, but you're the captain. Is it alright for you to leave your ship? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Titles mean nothing to me. And I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm always searching for adventure. Alright, everybody, time for Operation Clara. You know the routine. Catch up with us later. Aye, aye. <laughs> the motley crew. They look like they're a little bit tired of his shit, but there we go. <laughs> Works every time. Alright, Vase. Let's head south and see what kind of fun Nasrad has to offer. I have some personal stuff to take care of. First, you go to the inn and rest up. I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Don't mind traveling. Uh, I don't mind traveling separately. But what is it you need to do exactly? I need to stop by the tavern for a bit. There's a few women there that will be happy to see me. Don't wait up. Wink. See ya. Yes. All right. Well, whilst um, <clears throat> Gilda goes and has his <coughs> fun, we're going to go and uh, explore a little bit. And by explore a little bit, I mean we are... Uh, I'm not going to save it there. Let's, yeah, save it there. We're going to explore and find a chest, actually, that I missed out on earlier. I should have got this earlier when I was playing as Ica and Fina, but I forgot. So let's go get it now. That's if we can get it now. I'm pretty sure we can. There are there is some stuff in this game that if you miss out on it you cannot get it later but it's it's not a huge amount but there's enough to stop you from getting the 100% ranking obviously Now obviously you would think the 100% ranking you know that seems to indicate that you need to get 100% of everything but you actually don't you can miss a few little bits and pieces here and there Anywho <laughs> Welcome, welcome, the Tsar's best uh, cabal skewers. Buy one as a gift, buy one for your journey. Uh, made with top quality mutton and flame roasted for a crispy outside, juicy inside. You'll surely come back for more. Yeah, uh, thanks bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass now though. Oh, hello, who are you? A map or some memorabilia? There must be something uh, that will offer me a hint about where the treasure is. If I figure out what that island, uh, if I figured out that island where the du uh, Dakat hid his treasure, it has to be near here somewhere. But now I need something more specific. Okay, that really triggered my dyslexia there for some reason. Uh, we can't actually buy any weapons from this guy, I don't think. Hello, hello, my young lord. Surely I have the weapon for you. I have the finest selection under the moons. Oh, we can. All right, well, I mean, sure. What have you got? Oh, uh, sir. I say, sir. These are not weapons. Um. Hmm. See that? In most cases, you can run away 100% of the time. Uh, it's not really worth it. Uh, if you run as well, you actually lower your overall um, rating. Or you lower Vase's swashbuckler rating. Uh, so that's not really worth it. Improves chances for a first strike and hit percentage. Not really worth it like that. A folded piece of cured uh, dabu hide. Used as armor. Uh, I mean, it adds to our quick, but... Nah. 
Not really worth it. Alright, cool. Talk about various things. You know of the great legendary pirate named Captain uh, Dakat? The one who once controlled all of the world under the six moons. It is said that when he was about to die, he took all of the hundreds of millions of gold that he gathered and hid it on some island. Hmm. Interesting. Remember, we have nothing but the best here. Please come again. Yeah, uh, I'd have liked to have looked at your weapons, dude, but you apparently don't have any. What do you say? Wow, look at the crowds. I am from uh, Maramba. And I, I do not think I have ever seen so many people in one place before. With merchants from all over the world, the place is full of things I have not seen before. The big city really is a different world. Oh, I, this is a fantastic place to come and buy stuff. Good day, good day. How about some nice, fresh fruit? How about some luscious, juicy fruit to quench your thirst? That just sounds really good. Buy some now before the monkey eats it all. Scrumptiously delicious fruit. Yeah, uh, I sadly don't have the option to buy fruit, my dude. Hello, hello. Hey there, handsome. A dress from the Tsar would make the perfect gift. Ah, uh, for me? Or give your girlfriend a Nasreem formal, and you will, uh, and you will say she never looked so sexy. Ica would have a fit if I brought anything like this. Oh, you do not wish to buy. Come now, take a better look. Yeah, uh, if that's what you're modeling, then um, I'll take 10. So anyway, here's the chest. We found a sylph seed, which is good, I guess. Anywho, yeah, uh, Ica isn't really our, uh, or Vase's girlfriend, though. Is she? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a little bit weird I mean obviously she isn't but they seem seem a bit closer than than your average friends but then I suppose they're childhood friends they grew up together so I guess that's normal actually there is something else we can do here we can go and sell all of our discovery information because Vase kept all of the money and items for some reason, and the girls didn't get anything. I don't know how that worked, but whatever. Uh, let's talk about various things. Actually, there was a cute girl that just came by here saying that she didn't have any money or a ship either. I told her to go talk to the money lender, Osman. I wonder if she's doing all right. Okay. I wonder if that's some... Oh, wait. No, that's buy info. Sell info. So, mysterious rings. Oh, we got a nice little cash cow here. Will o wisps. Rock's nest. Giant throne. Lighthouse ruins. Ancient palace. Wow, that was worth a bit of gold. Skull rock. Giant hammer. Map of ages. And Mirage Island, of course. Not bad. Nice, nice little bit of cash there. Can we actually buy anything? No, we can't. So, usually if you can't buy anything, that means you're up to date with everything. Okay. Every major... Yeah, we know. Sailor's Guild and all that. We know. We know. Anywho. Let's get out of here. Um, right. We can also go see that merchant that Ica, uh, that gave Ica the cham, Abric cham. You seem to be marching about. Yikes! The ship's getting ready to leave. Let me see. I've already brought underwear. Oh, I know. Some pickled squid is for a gift. Now, where would they sell pickled squid? At the bazaar? At the item merchant? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I better get a move on. Yeah, that, yeah, you, you kind of better get a move on, dude. You're going to miss your ship. Hey, there he is. Oh, young lad, it's been quite a long time. It is I, the merchant you helped to the border of Nassar. Welcome. I see you're still not traveling with your female friends. Perhaps you've still not made up. Huh? Made up? What, what are you talking about? Do not worry. I know, I know. There is no need to hide a thing. Just be sure to make up. 
Yeah, so he says a slightly different thing if we hadn't already seen him as Ica and Fina. Not much different, and it's more in line with what he actually says to Ica and Fina. Uh, Fina. So, anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, oh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually go in here, and this is where Gilda is. Let's go have a look, shall we? There he is. I thought he was around here somewhere. Huh? Valua is launching an attack. Our border guards will take care of them. We don't have anything to worry about. But I heard that one of the admirals of the Valua Nomada is a beauty. Uh, okay. Dude? Wait a minute. What happened to those two girls who were here before? Yoo-hoo! Where are you? Pretty girls. Pretty girls? couple of real cute chicks work here usually but I don't see them around today a couple of cute chicks you say hmm who might that be no matter I doubt they're anyone we know wink wink nudge nudge welcome young lad please come in and relax yeah <laughs> you're unlucky up until yesterday I had two very cute girls working here but they quit very unfortunate they quit Alright. Gilda. Hey there, Vase. I'm going to have a few more drinks, so go back to the inn by yourself. You're the captain, I guess. At least for now, anyway. One day I'll be the captain. Right, well, let's go to the inn. Put our feet up. Alright there, young lady. Old lady. Nah, she looks like young lady. Welcome, this inn is 240 Golden Knight. Would you like a room? Yes, please. You can use the room at the top of the stairs on the second floor. Hope you sleep well. Cheers. Thank you. This looks like the room. I guess I'll just have to wait for Gilda here. Yeah, he's probably going to come back steaming pissed. All asleep. Oh. Well, those two look awfully familiar. Ah, it's payday. Working as a waitress was actually more fun than I thought. Yeah. I only imagine all the dirty sailors. Imagine it probably wasn't that much fun. Uh, I, I've never worked for gold before. It's rather exciting, actually. I wish I shared your enthusiasm, girls, for working for gold. Actually, maybe if I worked for gold, it would be more fun. Uh, right. Actually, now um, Vase has arrived, I wonder if I can go talk to this chap again. See what he says. See if he says anything different. Oh, young lady, you are the girl that... It's been many moons. Is I your friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It looks like he's... Yeah, he's just saying the same thing. Right, okay. And um, we didn't pick up a sexy dress for Ica. Maybe because uh, Vase doesn't fancy any broken bones. She doesn't look like the sort of girl you'd want to upset. Anywho, let's go. Although, I'd imagine she has a pretty decent sense of humour. Can I talk to this guy? Ah, I heard the Empress of Valua once was once a beautiful woman, but that Empress is nothing but a power-hungry old hag now. Even the Prince ran away from her. The Prince ran away from her. Is that so? Hmm, okay. Depressed man, thank you for your information. Hey there, pretty girls. Uh, where have you been off to? The only reason I come to this joint is to see you two. So you got to be here when I come. Oh, simp much? Yeah, this guy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, that guy is definitely an incel. 
This must be my lucky day. I come ashore and the first people I meet are you two fair maidens. Let me introduce myself. I'm called Gilda. Perhaps you'll do me the favor of remembering my name, fair maidens. Ugh, God. Gilda, ugh, can't stay mad at you, but that's cringe. Gilda, Gilda, Gilda. Oh, it's you. Here you are. This is your pay. You earned it. You both worked very hard, so I decided to help you out with a little extra bonus. Thank you for everything. You received your... <laughs> wages, whatever that is. You also received four Sacrus Crystals and one Cham. Hey, not bad. Wow, thanks. With this, we've... We finally have the 10,000 gold we need to buy a ship. Well, well, well. I didn't know you had such pretty girls working here. Ugh. Gilda, you scoundrel. Keep your hands off the help, okay? Good man. Although calling them helps a bit disrespectful, I think. Uh, they just stopped working here, right? You don't need to get so protective. Some things never change, Gilda. You never were one to resist such a pretty face. Oh my god, maybe they couldn't remake this today. If they if they had to censor some of Resident Evil 4's lines, I don't think a lot of this would go through. You can't say anything remotely inappropriate like that these days. Ika, Fina, be careful out there. You better take care of yourselves. Thanks for everything. All right, Fina, let's go back to the inn and pay off our bill. Yeah, I don't think these girls have anything to worry about. Sure as hell wouldn't want to mess with them. Unless they uh, squeeze your neck like a wet noodle. You know, bend your spine like a balloon animal. And that's just Ica. Oh, hello. Sir, what's wrong? Do you need help? Ugh, starving, thirsty, need water, need food. Really? All right, just hang on, I'll bring you inside. We'll take care of you. Okay. What's going on with this gentleman? Thank you for your kindness. My name is Pedro. I'm not sure how I can repay you. That's quite all right. Don't give it another thought. Helping people in distress is what we blue rogues live for. I could shut up, keep that quiet. Jesus. Oh, you're an air pirate. Where did you produce that from? I can't do much to repay you, but please accept this. What's this? Looks like an old map. I, I used to be a sailor. I used to travel with my friend Gonzalez. How convenient. Gonzalez, you say. One day, we were lucky enough to find this Decat's map. To catch map? About five generations ago, long before my time, there was a great air pirate named Ducat that terrorized the world. And this map supposedly shows where Captain Ducat hid all of his treasures, Ducat's island. But half of the map is missing. Well, Gonzalez and I promised each other to look for it together someday. We tore the map in half and we each carried a piece with us. Right after we found the map, we were attacked by black pirates. We had to abandon ship. I don't know what happened to Gonzalez, but I ended up here in Nes Nesrad. Oof. I've been waiting for him in this town for a very long time. I don't think I'll ever see him again. That's kind of sad. Yeah, that's very sad. Now I'm too old to be going off looking for buried treasure. But I'm sure that Gonzalez would have been happy if he found the treasure. Yeah, we'll make him happy. Thanks, Pedro. Thank you for saving me. Good luck finding that treasure. You're welcome, dude. That's really sad. What do you think? What do, you th do you think this map is worth anything? Hmm, he didn't appear to be the kind of person that would lie. Yeah, that story did seem a little far-fetched, but it might be worth checking out. Hey, do you want to go searching for the treasure? Sure, I would like that very much. It sounds interesting. Sounds like a plan. Let's pay the innkeeper and get going. Hey. 
Why, hello there. Do you want to grab a bite to eat? I have a friend that can come along too. We'd love to, but we're about to go on a trip. Maybe some other time. Oh, so close. I see. Well, then that's too bad. Safe travels. Well, at least Gilda isn't a complete asshole. He's not badgering them and shouting at them down the hallway as they uh, walk off. Thank you. Maybe we'll run into you later. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we will. So close to the other piece of that map. Hey, we just got into town and you've already got your face buried in that map. Have a little fun, will ya? <laughs> they literally walked, go past. Hey, where did you get that map? I found it on that deserted island I was on. That's the map to the hidden treasure of the legendary air pirate Ducat. It's said that he travelled the entire world and has seen all six moons with his own eyes. It is also said that all the treasures that he accumulated on his adventures are hidden somewhere on a small island. A small island, you said. And this is a map of that island. FaZe, you certainly know how to pick your maps. Hmm, but how do we know it's real? Look, it's Ducat's seal. It isn't easy to duplicate that seal. It's no fake face. This is a real treasure map. We can't just sit here. We have to leave right away. But Gilda, didn't you say something about meeting women and having some fun? Which do you think is more important? Women or Ducat's treasure? Besides, with Ducat's treasure, we'll be able to get more women. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that grin. Oh, oh Gilda. You old sausage. Come on, Vase. Let's go. You can't help but like the guy. Okay. Anyway. Ooh. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we head off looking to Ducat's Island, I should warn the king about Valuer's plans. Yeah, probably not a bad idea, actually. But we are pretty much out of time for this episode. Uh, I guess we could go warn the king. Why not? I'm assuming the king is up this way. Not that I th think they're just going to let us in, but hey, what do I know? This is the royal palace of the uh, Nasultan. If you do not have official business, then you are not welcome here. The Sultan? The ruler of Nasra always takes on the title of the Sultan, and this is the royal palace. I see. So we should sell this Nur Sultan guy about Valuer's plan to attack. Please, we must speak to the Sultan right away. Let us through. What? You wish to speak to the Sultan? Do you think we allow commoners into the royal palace? Ooh. What do we say here? Yep, pretty uh, pretty obvious which we have to say here, but I thought I'd check just in case. Uh, we have important information. I have important information regarding the Valuan Armada. Please let us pass. Important information about the Valuans? Hmm. Valuan is our greatest enemy. If you have information about them, then perhaps we can let you speak to the Sultan. Very well, I will grant you permission to enter the Royal Palace. Now, if you'd follow me... Yeah, not too shabby, kid. Who would have thought that two ruffians like us would be able to meet the Sultan? To be fair, uh, Gilda's pretty well dressed, I would have thought. Well, I just figured that if they knew we were doing them a favour, they'd let us in. So, you're the air pirate who escaped from the Grand Fortress, eh? I am the Nasultan of the Nassar Kingdom. What is it that you want from me? Valuer is planning an attack on Nasrad. They are already organizing their forces. You should warn your people and assemble your fleet right away. <laughs> you came all the way, all this way to tell me this? Do not fear, our navy is powerful enough to crush the Valuer and Armada. 
But your majesty, you shouldn't underestimate them. You need to assemble your fleet or many innocent lives may be lost. You seem very concerned about Nassar for an air pirate. Nasrad is shielded by mountains. In the south sky rifts to the east, it is impossible for them to invade. Hmm. I like the way only one side of his moustache is actually a 3D model. <laughs> and the other side is just like a 2D JPEG. If they were to try and invade us, it would have to be from the north. And that is where our fleet is located. Hmm. The South Daniel Strait is properly guarded and the Maelstrom blocks off the North Daniel Strait. In other words, it would be impossible for anyone to invade us. Hmm. But. Do not worry. NASA is protected by the Red Moon. Valua cannot touch us. And besides, if someone as young as you can get past the Armada, perhaps they're losing their edge. Imagine that, the once mighty value in Amada fooled by a boy. <laughs> He's having way too much fun. It's no use, Faze. I don't think he'll listen to anything we have to say. Let's stop wasting our time and start looking for Decat's Island. I don't know, he seems way too overconfident. But I hope for his sake he's right. Come on, let's go. Well, I mean, it ain't going to win any um, contests, but it's pretty good. All right, it's a little small, but we bought a ship. It's quite an achievement. Yes, but the gold that we got from Clara uh, and from working is all gone now. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Fina. All we need to do is find, is find Ducat's treasure and we'll be fine. Let's see, did the map say where the island was located? The dead will always watch over my treasure. It is located... Well, where is it? Oh no, it's torn off. I can't see what it says. Looks like the only way we'll be able to find the island is by this clue. I think this skull on the map has something to do with it. Well, it's not going to do us any good just sitting around and doing nothing. We might as well start searching. Yes. <laughs> That's right, ladies. Affirmative action. Well, you know, they finally bought their first ship. That's a, I would say that's a pretty good achievement. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, we're going to continue and search for some treasure. Till then, guys, thanks for watching.